everyone. The monsoons are here. And what better way to enjoy this weather with something crispy, fry and cheesy. We are making aloo corn cheese balls. For the aloo corn cheese balls, we need two potatoes boiled and grated. We need quarter cup of coriander leaves chopped, half a cup of boiled corn, quarter cup of chopped capsicum, half a cup of grated cheese, half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, half a teaspoon of chaat masala, one teaspoon of oregano, and half a teaspoon of salt, and some pepper. For the boiling and coating of the alu corn cheese balls, we need two tablespoons of corn flour. We need three tablespoons of maida mixed in water to a thick paste and some bread crumbs. I have taken two potatoes and boiled and grated them in a bowl. Do not overcook your potatoes. Make sure that the potato is about 80% cooked so that it's easy to grate because it has still a little bite left in it. To that, you add your corn, your capsicum. Capsicum is optional. If you want to skip it, you can skip it. You add your dhaniya patta, the cheese, and all your spices, your salt, red chili flakes, your oregano, and your chaat masala. Grate some fresh black pepper. Now there's nothing left to do but to just mix this and make round balls out of this. Let me just put my hand in this. mixture is ready and now I'm going to be making small round balls out of this and I'm going to be uh, rolling into the corn flour first. I'm going to be dipping this in the maida and the water paste that I've made here and I'm lastly going to roll them in the bread breadcrumbs and I'm going to fry them in this oil. I've already preheated my oil so it's going to be very easy uh, making round balls out of this. As you can see I've already uh, rolled out one. So if you want, if it's very sticky sometimes, potatoes can be a little sticky, you can apply a little oil on your palm and you can roll them uh, into round balls as well. But uh, the potatoes here are quite starchy and they're not sticking to my hand so I'm not using any more oil. So I have rolled out a few here and uh, make sure you're uh, making them when you're just about ready to eat and uh, do not make and keep them because it's not going to be fun eating them cold because the cheese won't be all melty and gooey then. So now I have made all the balls and I have ready them. Uh, I have taken plain corn flour and I have taken some maida and water and made like a slurry to this consistency. It should be very easy pouring consistency and I have taken some plain bread crumbs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be rolling the aloo ball in this and I'm going to be dipping in this so that it's lightly coated. Now this is to prevent the cheese from oozing out and just drop it into the breadcrumbs. Coat it well and make sure you roll it a little so that the breadcrumbs get pressed onto the slurry and that's how you get a perfectly coated the aloo corn cheese ball. So now I'm going to be continuing to do a few so that you get an idea of how it's supposed to be done. Drain out the excess slurry and just drop it so that you don't touch the sticky part. Just make sure it's coated with the breadcrumbs and just press it gently and make sure all the sides are coated well with the breadcrumbs. So I'll finish the rest and uh, I'll keep everything ready so that it's easy for us to fry. Now the aloo corn cheese balls are ready and now I'm going to fry them in my hot oil. So let's start frying them. So move them around. My oil is really hot. And all your ingredients in this are absolutely cooked. So all you need is the brown color outside. So it's 
going to become all crispy and nice. Make sure it's fried from all the sides. Now they have become nice and golden brown. So I'm going to drain them out on a kitchen paper. Yaru corn cheese balls are ready to eat. Let me show you how it looks from the inside. So, can you hear the crunch? So, this is going to be so nice, creamy and cheesy from inside and crispy from the outside. Super hot. I can't even think of putting this in my mouth, but just perfect for this rainy season. And do try this at home. Make it, like it, share it, and Follow Tingling Palette for more such recipes on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.